What's up YouTube? I am currently back in Florida here with my big ripper. And guess what guys, in today's video, it's gonna be my last day riding with these stock V brakes because I am finally gonna be converting this bike to disc brakes. Shout out to Rideout Supply. He overnighted me some goodies. We got some goodies up in this box. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay. We got some goodies. We got a new seat, another seat. This is the new seat for the City Grounds Big Ripper. It's gonna be replacing that stock SE seat and we're gonna be boom, just like that. Wristbands, next ride out, I will be giving these out. Nice ride out supply wristbands. Now this I am excited about. This is the piece that makes these freaking Big Rippers willy. This right here, guys, I'm trying to put y'all on game. The stock newer Big Rippers come with those big old 36 sprockets, SE bikes. No one likes that gear ratio. These bikes need to start coming with a 33 too, on demand. 33.15 is like the go-to gear ratio for wheelies, for long distance rides, going uphill, all that good stuff. This is the sprocket for that. Check them out, guys, rideoutsupply.com. I went with a silver black reflective vinyl. You already know it's gonna go well with that sticker kit that's already on the bike. This is like the last finish touch that I was waiting on until I can convert this bike to disc brake so I'm super super excited about that huge choo choo shout out to ride out supply I waited for the homie big Steve to get ready he's right there <laughs> big Steve say what's up what's up while I'm waiting on him I'm gonna go ahead and slap this new sprocket on there probably slap that new seat on there as well so uh -huh. Loosen this bolt. They're yeah, usually tight on there, so you might have to put this baby on the ground. Boom. Get that click. Take your time. Do not rush. Rush. That's how you mess things up. The bike is like almost new. Sorry, guys. I gotta do some backyard boogie. I don't have time to go to the bike shop today, so um, I had to hit a little backyard boogie for you guys. And one of the cool things I love about the ROS sprockets, you don't need that freaking spacer in those stock sprockets because uh, over time, like eventually that spacer gets a little worn out. So you know, your, your sprockets loose, your sprocket bends, and then you have that tight spot in your chain. Like I've never had that issue with these sprockets. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend you guys get you an ROS sprocket. Plus they literally just complete the bike. I mean, look, Whew. come on now. Here has the sprocket looking so far. What I have to do now is pretty much get this chain on and see how many links I need to be need to be cut out, but that won't be too hard. Oof, I already feel a huge difference, man. Pops up so easy now. I feel like I got so much more control. Oh my God, let's go. Look, I'm already cutting up. All right, guys, check the sprocket out. Sheesh. Finally, finally, we got this bike converted to a 33-15 gear ratio. I've been saying this since day one, guys. When it comes to making your Big Ripper easier to willy, in my opinion, I do think that is the gear ratio to go to. Try it out if you don't like that 36-16 gear ratio. Switch over to a 33-15. Pretty much what you gotta do is the 16 free wheel comes on the opposite side of the wheel. So you're gonna have to take it to the bike shop, get that old one removed and get it put on this side of the wheel because these hubs are flip-flop hub. This is a 15-2 free wheel from Ride Out Supply and then I already have my adapter ready. So when I'm ready to install that dip. Right, like I said, this is gonna be the last video. last video with me riding this bike with v brakes so we're gonna head to miami me and big steve and see what the vibes are out there all right y'all this is how the new ros is looking i got rid of those white bumpers and put the black bumper from the old seat on looking clean but it's going hit it y'all can see currently on my big girlfriend we just made it to miami the sun is about to set but i think we're gonna hit south beach see what the vibes are looking like and test out this new gear ratio a quick rundown of this bike it is a 2024 it's a collab bike with sc bikes and city grounds and i have to slap some ride out supply goodies on there we got a 33 tooth sprocket and we got a 15 tooth free wheel on here still got the stock v brakes but again this is going to be my last ride with these v brakes Woo. 
flying. <laughs> Bruh, feels, this bike feels so much better with this gear ratio. <laughs> Red light, I left big speed. I'll tell y'all man that 33 15 gear ratio will make a huge difference y'all the cuts are about to be crazy on this bike again just made it to brickle okay block has got the wheel up downtown brickle vibes on the pretty much upgraded big ripper safe on that thing, bro. This thing is cutting with that gear ratio. Uh. Side. Off road work too. Bugging. <laughs> Thank you. side fire love the 33 15 gear ratio as well it's just like i'm able to just fly i'm not gonna change the handlebars on here i like the stock bars that are already on here i may change the forks though i can't even get in traffic because youtube will demonetize that man i'd be wanting to get in that traffic work for y'all all right as y'all can see now guys we're on the top of the big bridge that's going to be taking us to south beach got the big river right here got this beautiful miami skyline in the background it feels good to be in miami man the vibes are vibing but yeah we're about to hit this little downhill this is one of my favorite downhills let's get it let's go man we're about to be flying with the v-brakes stop v-brakes to be exact Beach. This bike is riding so smooth with this upgrade. I am so happy. I finally switched over to a 33 2. Damn, Miami is so beautiful. Today was such a nice day to come out and ride. Go downhill, down the bridge. Hopefully, nobody's on the sidewalk because I'm coming in hot. Heads up. Listen, I may have been bashing the V-brakes a little too much. They're not that bad, but put it like this. 
when you master the wheelie so good that you learn how to 12 o'clock you're not ever gonna want to touch V brakes. You're not gonna ever want to trust V brakes when it comes to 12 o'clock and on the bike because for my wheelie guys out there, y'all know when V brakes stop working, over with, over with. You ride on your back. So me, preferably, I just I'm a hydraulic disc brake guy, man. I am a hydraulic disc brake guy. I hope hopefully this little upgrade could help you guys out because. Hello. Don't worry. <laughs> And we still got it up. Ooh, I'm having a lot of fun on this bike. More fun since I got the bike. So she's leaving you. <laughs> Off camera, Big Steve just tried to push me in the water. Look how I'm bugging out right now. Just like this. Oh my God, just chill, like bruh. <laughs> y'all we just made it to ocean drive on south beach it might be a little too dark but i might be able to adjust the lighting we'll see sliding now ocean Thank you. On your left. Still cutting up through South Beach. All right, y'all, we just now leaving South Beach. Can't believe we took the big bridge today. It was fire though. Peep the fire city vibe. Sheesh. Get our car flying. Miami nights, man. Just up a bike. Whew. Get you a nice exercise. We probably did like a cool 30 miler. Changing that sprocket made a huge difference on this bike, guys. Literally. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend you guys go check out Ride Out Supply. Link is in the description. 